travel the wire Wait in the water Wait in the water Children, wait in the water God's gonna travel the wire everybody. Thanks for tuning in virtually. Well, this next song, you'll hear me reference my roots, Augusta, Georgia. You'll hear me reference 
the Good Shepherd Baptist Church. I mentioned it on a lot of my recordings because that's where I got my start, performing, having a chance to sing with the children's choir. And as I got older, I remember I was talking to my aunt, who's 82, yesterday. And we were talking about old songs and old people. There was a lady named Evelyn Gillis Henderson who would always travel back home to Georgia and she would sing old songs. And I remember asking my mother, asking my grandmother, my aunt, why are they singing songs with lyrics that have such a sad, uh, downtrodden impetus feel? And she said, well, sometimes people will express themselves through music. So as I got older and started going through things as we all do and life happens and happened, I began to find songs where I could identify with the lyrics. And one of the first songs that I could identify was this song. Some people call it a hymn. You'll hear some of the blues in it and you'll hear the message. It says, walk with me, Lord. Teacher, 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 study. While I'm on, while I'm on this teacher's journey, 
Thank you. Well, tonight I have a very special guest. I'll say a little bit more about her. I'll let her voice do the introduction. And I want to point out something that was very interesting to me. Because, you know, there are a lot of these songs. Anisha and I were talking about this writing here in the city this evening. She's from D.C. I'm from Augusta, Georgia. And when I started traveling and went to school at Howard University years before meeting Anitra, I was shocked that some of the churches I would visit, their devotional segment of the service, the front part of the service, they would sing songs that I grew up hearing, not just at my church, but at my grandmother's church, what we call in the country. I thought it was interesting. So I wanted to point out this song, which is, I know the Lord will make a way somehow. Yes, he will. And then we're going to go into another version of the song with a little different words, a little different twist to it, a little different rhythm, but this is like this. I know the Lord will make a way, yes, he will. I know the Lord will make a way. For me, when I could not see, and I know the Lord will make a way, yes, he will. Let's do another line of this. I know the Lord. to travel with the great Aretha Franklin who grew up in church and understood the blues and understood jazz and popular music and anything you could put in front of her she could understand it she was just a musical polyglot um, she could do anything but what's interesting is that she has an arrangement that she recorded years ago on her Christmas album I think it's entitled this Christmas and it's a hymn that I grew up singing we loved this hymn Michael in my church because it had a nice groove it had a nice beat. It had a nice feeling, but the words were so true. Based on the same words, but a little different. I'm going to let Anitra do this one. It goes like this. Still says the Lord will make a way somehow. Come on, y'all. Come on, Anitra. Like a ship 